I am back um, with Penny Armini and AM Connections, and my guest this morning is Debbie Newcomb from the Connie Human Resource Center, Executive Director. We are going to talk about a bunch of things besides this, sure. okay, because there's be a great. lot going on this month for you. Sure. Um, but we're going to talk about the rib burnoff because that is coming up. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, yeah. They are. Yeah. So, um, are things going along okay? I know. I emailed her yesterday. How are things going? <laughs> are you surviving? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I decided to quit looking at the weather forecast, so mm -hmm. it didn't make me nervous. Yeah. And uh, we went down yesterday and lined, you know, where we're going to line all the Everybody. vendors up, and they're coming in today at three. Oh. Okay. So we have it all set up. It'll be a little different venue, but I think people will really like what we're doing down mm -hmm. there. Uh, we'll have a lot more seating areas for people to eat and enjoy. Uh, we'll have a covered stage for our entertainment. Oh, they're covered. Yeah, so okay. bringing in a covered stage. Uh, though the new stage has been redone, mm -hmm. so it looks mm -hmm. a lot nicer. Yeah. And uh, and I noticed the old fountain. As my mission next year is to enlist the garden club to put some flowers in that oh, old God. fountain. Wouldn't yeah. that be nice? But uh, I've been working with the city and Randy Luce and the Public Works Department to get it all ready. And I think it's going to be really nice. It's always a weather. It's a rain or shine event. Yeah. Uh, there's not much you yeah. can do with outdoor festivals. I mean, that could be in the middle of the summer. You could oh. get rain out. Yeah. So. And, and, you know, this summer has just been one of those summers that no matter what you do, mm -hmm. you have to watch the weather. Right. Because, you know, we have some summers where there's the, it rains at night beautiful on the weekends, the way the weather systems are going through. And this year, oh my goodness. I mean, every Sunday we've been with the concerts. We were, I, you just walk around with the weather. I mean, my phone, you just constantly walk around with the weather. Sure. So it's it's just that kind of year. But I'm very optimistic, Debbie, that too. the rain's going to come in late on Friday, early on Saturday, and you're going to be fine. And we're hopeful too. I mean, it's a it's a great event. Uh, it's the fifth annual mm -hmm. Rip Burnoff and Chili Cookoff. We did move the location this year, and again, uh, we just needed the flexibility. As director, I'm charged with raising funds for my agency. And this is a fundraiser. This is for a the fundraiser. Conneaut Human right. Resources Center. Correct. It's it's not going in anyone's pocket, but the Conneaut Human Resources Center, and that helps with our food pantry, our seniors together and our Right Track After School program. Mm -hmm. Those are our signature programs. Mm -hmm. But along with being director, as Penny will tell you over and over, you have to maintain a building. Yes. Uh, you have a lot of utility bills, and you have a lot of extra income, some, or extra expenses that you need mm -hmm. income for. This is one of our major fundraisers. Mm -hmm. uh, by being at Township Park, it gave us flexibility on what we were charging vendors and a, a part of raising money. That's what this is all about. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. If I, you give me a dollar, I can buy three dollars worth of food. Mm -hmm. So, so making an extra thousand or an extra two thousand dollars will enable me to buy a right. whole lot more right. Of, right. of what we need to take care of our and, and families. A, and you know, regardless, it's a smart business decision because while everybody says, "Well, you're a nonprofit," we still are a business. Right. We still have to pay the heat, the light. Yeah. We have to pay insurance or you can't open the door. Right. Insurance, you know personally how expensive insurance is. Run a business. So Debbie has to make decisions based on what is beneficial to the Human Resource Center. Right. And sometimes these decisions aren't always really popular, but no. we have to do what we have to do to open the door. And, and you know, where else are we as fortunate as we are in Conneaut to have nice parks I right mean, and I you know parks. you have there's more and more we can do every year and we're hoping we can improve that but uh, with the city parks but mm -hmm. I mean we're very fortunate to have as many parks as yeah. we do especially along Lake Erie yeah because it's just not there in a lot of places along the lake so mm -hmm. uh, we're very thankful for our for all of our sponsors this year they are all listed in the handout today you'll get in the star beacon insert but uh, we couldn't do it without them. Right. And you know that as well yourself, right. your members, your, your sponsors that support uh, our mission statement. Yep. And, and you know, it's about providing people a good quality of life mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. um, and you never know when you're going to need one of the services that Debbie provides. I mean, we say that a, a lot, but I mean, a lot of people are one paycheck away from needing a food pantry or needing assistance in some way or as a senior, um, you know, having your your mom or you have an activity, someplace to go, something to do, people to care about you. I mean, you never know when you're going to need one of the 
um, the health department. I mean, it, everything is in this building. Right track has been proven over and over to be such an asset to the kids going to school here in our area. So you never know when you're going to need this and these people are supporting you. Right, and that's that's what's so important about the Human Resources Center is it's a one-stop location mm -hmm. for services. Uh, not only do we do food pantry and right track, but we house the Women, Infant, and Children's Clinic. Mm -hmm. We house uh, First Step for Catholic Charities. Uh, we have veterans counseling twice a month. Uh, we're trying to make it so people don't have to drive to Erie or whatever, they can come right here to get their counseling. I'm also trying to work with some of our counseling centers now in Ashtabula to have office hours mm -hmm. where people can receive their counseling services here in town. Mm -hmm. um, we think that's really important uh, for the community to have that right. have that here in our area. We're a large county. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, I drove the other day for a wedding in Williamsfield and I haven't been driving the county like mm -hmm. I know. It's 45 minutes from, yeah. from Conneaut to there. So if you, there's services in those parts of the county people need. Right. You know, they don't have the transportation. That's why we're here for them. And uh, we're very pleased to have the congregate meal site for seniors. We home delivered meals go out of our facility every day, Monday through Friday. Our senior programs have expanded under mm -hmm. Mary Young's direction. Mm -hmm. And it's... Uh, it's fun sometimes to go to work with the seniors, yeah. and then other days it's not, but most of the time it's fun. <laughs> but uh, they're just a great bunch of people. They're doing crafts for the Halo this year so they can give back to the community. Oh, they're nice. doing hats and scarves. So, again, this is our, our major fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Ed Sompi was the founder of the whole thing, you know. Uh, and, of course, I think he just likes to get bands together myself yeah. and I'll listen to music. But yeah. uh, I think it's a great event. We have some great bands coming. Uh, we open on Friday at 4 with uh, the Fugitives will be performing mm -hmm. that evening. And on Saturday we'll do a flag raising ceremony with the American Legion at noon. And then bring in the Lighthouse cruise, Car Cruisers and back when we'll mm -hmm. be playing. Mm -hmm. In the evening we have a new band called Jam Sandwich. Mm -hmm. They're out of Ashtabula. <laughs> We're excited to hear that. If you haven't heard them, you got to hear them. They're a really interesting group of individuals. So. And then on Sunday, uh, we open at 1. And, of course, you, the Brewers will be there at noon, so you want to get your to-go boxes for the Browns games. Uh, you know, <laughs> you come on uh -huh. in. And then uh, we'll have uh, the Red Dust Mountain Boys, which I think uh -huh. they play at your place as yep. well. Yep, yep. And they, they just love our area. They, they actually called me in February uh -huh. to set this deal. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark is out there. Yeah. Mark markets. <laughs> markets, he does. And then, of course, in the evening is good question. Yeah. Uh, we'll have our celebrity judging with your, your own Pat Williams of AM Live, Nick Church Council President, and Ed Sompi. Ah. Uh, we're not sure if they'll be there right at four because of the Browns game, but they'll be close. So. Yeah. Or depending on, I think they're playing Pittsburgh, so they might be there at noon. I don't know. So. Yeah. You never know how the game's <laughs> going to go. But we're excited. I mean, it's a new location. It gives us an opportunity to do some new things uh -huh. there. Uh, we have probably 12 concessioners, six of those ribbers, uh, and we probably have about 10 crafter vendor people oh, there. Oh, so there's okay. a variety for whatever you whatever you okay. like to do. And right. Dino Jump will be there this year with the okay. rock wall, uh, bouncy house, I think it is, and uh, obstacle course. So that'll be Good, a new addition, yeah. something for the kids, kids to, do. to do. We're trying to find sure. a way to add some of those things for kids to do too. Sure. Uh, Mom and dad are chowing down. Well, who are some of the vendors that are going to be there? Well, some of the rivers that are going to be there, and there are standbys. They've been there since the beginning. And uh, this year we have Cunningham's Place. We'll be providing rib dinners, pulled pork, and chicken. Uh, we have Briquette's Smokehouse coming back. They want to defend their title because they lost it last year. Mm. It's best ribs. But they'll be doing ribs, chili, pulled pork, their stew, and their chili. Uh, Breakwall Restaurant, the winner last year, is coming back with ribs, pulled pork, beef, brisket, and their chili and coleslaw. Guy's Barbecue out of Newton Falls, Ohio. You'll see Guy's uh, barbecue sauce in, in some of our local stores mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And he's doing his ribs, potato salad, chicken, and baked beans. Uh, B&M Barbecue Ribs out of Cleveland will be doing ribs, chicken, pulled pork, chili, baked beans, coleslaw. And, of course, they all have beverages with them, too. And a new addition this year on Sunday only, but is Whist Pig Smokehouse out of Ashtabula. Now, he does ribs, chili, taquitos, fried corn, and beverages. And he just really wanted to get in the event to compete mm -hmm. with the other, mm -hmm. the other amateur. Mm -hmm. These are amateur rivers now. 
and uh, he's real excited about coming to the event. So that's who we have for this oh, year. Good. And it's a good mix. Yeah, that is a good mix. And then what do you have other vendors there mm -hmm. besides that? We'll have the indescribable kettle corn, Randy okay. Barnes, our local person. Uh, Ridge Creek will be providing nine different kinds of flavored ice cream, oh. soft serve, milkshake, and espressos. Uh, classic concessions, of course, with that real healthy food, the fries, the chips, the corn dogs, the <laughs> Snickers, and then another gentleman's coming, Randy, with funnel cakes, elephant ears, and Ooh. those type of things mm. that people just love. Uh, our crafters are going to be Scentsy, Bath Fitters, Papa Shop, Shetler's Bakery. They come every year. Marianne's face painting for little mm -hmm. people. We have an origami owl jewelry person, Joyce's Design, and CSP. Their Relay for Life team is going to be there to hand out information about Relay for okay. Life. Uh, Board of Tourism will be mm -hmm. there, Star Beacon. Uh, the center will be selling uh, beer at the event too as mm -hmm. well to raise money. Mm -hmm. And we have a strolling magician. Oh. We have some gentleman bringing his parrot. Uh, we have the duck wagon with the little ducks. And if you're Alpacas. lucky, the geese will come in. Uh, they're, they're, they're all, they got there before we did <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I know. They've been, they've been up lately. Yes, I see you have them out here this morning. Yes, they're out here. Yeah, they greeted Oof. you at the yeah. end of the driveway. And, and alpacas. So, oh, okay. you know, it's a good mix of things for people to do. And like I said, a lot of it's contingent mm -hmm. on the weather. And we'll do the best we can. We did get a large tent from the Optimist Club that will be put up with tables and chairs to sit in. Oh, that's and nice. And covered, good. there'll be some outside. So, mm -hmm. you know, bring your lawn chairs for the entertainment. We'll have some chairs mm -hmm. there, but I'm sure your lawn chairs would be more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, parking will be similar to what we do for 4th of July. On the side streets will be no parking mm -hmm. one side. Uh, the Connie Art Center is letting New Leaf. Uh, yep. Um, the New Leaf Youth Group Youth will group. be working our parking lot. And, of course, that's right there. Yes, so. it's right there. And so we're very excited about it. It's a, it's a lot of organization. I've had a lot of good people helping. And the city's been great cooperating yeah. with us on everything. We have to, of course, we have people to do our, we even got volunteers to help us do our trash pickup. So yeah, good. it's been really, a really uh, team effort. Good. Penny can spout to that. You can't get it done well, all day. Yeah, and, so. and, and yeah. honestly, you don't realize how much work goes into this between phone calls and scheduling and, you know, just, you know, following through all those things that need to be done and making sure that everyone is doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And I know from, you know, putting events together how much work is involved in this. Right. And honestly, once tomorrow comes, there's minor things, but, you know, you can just kind of go... Okay. You know, you look I'll at everybody set up and like in my chair with yeah. my iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> and her feet out. And my feet up. Right. Don't, you'll see me by the camper, which is our official office. You probably saw it this morning when you went to work. No, I haven't been to work uh, okay. yet. I yeah. come straight here because yeah. I'm here already. Uh, okay. But I would like to go over our sponsors real quick because okay. I would Absolutely. like I did want to thank them publicly. Our gold sponsors this year are ATEC Technical and Career Center, our local American Legion Cow Pulse 151. Asheville County Medical Center, uh, CCA, our Lake Erie Correctional Institution, CSP, Continental Structural Plastics, Connie at Dairy Queen, of course the Connie at Telephone Company, Jocelyn Landis Insurance Agency, uh, Luke Gallagher, Attorney at Law, the Newcomb Law Firm, the Star Beacon, Evergreen Lake Campground, who's providing us the covered stage, and yes. SD Graphics, who gives us a really good deal on our banners, and he is a mm -hmm. sponsor mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Our silver sponsors are CT Consultants, the Conant Moose Lodge, uh, Dave Flout from Edward Jones Investments, Infield Chiropractic Office, Jim and Debbie Newcomb, Orlando Brothers Golden Dawn, Dolly's House, and Bronze is Anchor Insurance, the Conant Chamber of Commerce, Gerdes Pharmacy, Infinity Resources, and Ringer Screen Print. So we're very excited for those sponsors that, that support our mm -hmm. cause and are always there when you ask them for yeah, help. Absolutely. You'll, you'll notice if you pay attention to the names on that list that a lot of these people support everything that goes on in town. Okay, yeah, yes. If your name, if you own a business or you have um, an organization and your name is not on that list and you would like people to hear you, hear what you do in the community, if you are a part of the community, you want to be on the list sponsoring the events that are going on in town. And we, and like I said, that gave them uh, advertising in the Rib Burn Off Absolutely. feature today. It also provided them, uh, they'll be on the stage banners, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll announce them all through the whole event that, uh, you know, here are right. our sponsors and, and, and you, it, who support us. You can't beat that. Yeah, so, absolutely can. You know, and that's what's great about Conneaut. Uh, there's so many people that step up when you 
when you need help. I mean, you know, we just pulled out that huge D-Day event. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know yeah. how much work, you know, Lori and Betsy do with that. Yeah. Um, so, it, and the stuff we've done in Rotary with our groups, and it's just yeah. nice to see people coming together in town. Absolutely. That's the good thing. You know, everybody yeah. likes to focus on some of the negatives, but. So, um, give me the times for the rib uh, burn off in case somebody didn't get this or don't know. Sure. It starts this Friday. September 5th, it's from 4 to 10, so as soon as you go to the whiteout <laughs> at, the, uh -huh. at the stadium, come on down for some ribs from 4 to 10. The entertainment starts at 7, so it gives you time to get there. On, fr on Saturday, September 6th, we open at noon and we go to 10 p.m. And on Sunday, we actually open at 1 and go to 8 p.m. Okay. But again, like I said, the ribbers get there pretty early to start cooking, so... You want your Browns sure. to go box, sure, or your sure. Steelers to go box, whatever. Right, and it is at Connie at Lakeview Lake Park, Park. Yes. this year. So um, you can drive down along the lake, mm -hmm. but you got to come down to Lakeview Park. Yes, and we'll be happy to have you there. Yeah. And anybody else that ever wants to participate in the future, I've gotten some calls for next year already. So good, we're happy good. about it. We Very appreciate good. everyone's support. Very good. So what else is going on? Uh, we do have another event coming okay. up. Hey, as, as Penny knows, this is ongoing raising funds. It never stops. Uh, this is for the food pantry. We do some special uh, funding uh, proposals for them to do emergency assistance. And this is what we call our Wine and Bridges Tour. It's new this year. Uh, as you know, uh, Renee Roach has done some bus trips in the past, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to some gambling casinos and things like that. We thought we'd do a new twist. Okay. Wine and Bridges will be held Sunday, September 21st. So for you football widows who want to get, want to get away on a Sunday, the mm -hmm. tour will begin at 12.30 uh, with dinner afterwards at the center at 5 o'clock. What's great about this, it's Jolly the Trolley. We have two Jolly the Trolley vehicles coming that will pick you up at the center, take you for a guided tour of the covered bridge. Of course, wine will be served and it will be fun on the, on the tour mm -hmm. as well and some information. There will be a pasta dinner served afterwards with all the trimmings along with entertainment. And, of course, more wine and door prizes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a new event. So it's Sunday, September 21st. The ticket price is $42 for the whole, for the whole day. And we think that's pretty and reasonable. And that includes dinner also. That includes dinner okay. off. Now, if you just want to go for dinner, it's only $10. Or if your spouse wants to meet mm -hmm. you there after the game for $10. Mm -hmm. But we thought it was a nice event. We're trying to get reservations in by the 15th of September. Because there is limited seat, seating on the trolley. Mm -hmm. um, but they've been, wow, they were great to work with. You know, they do a lot of the wine tours in the Geneva area. Yeah, they, and, they know. Yeah, and they know the, mm -hmm. the bridges, and mm -hmm. we can tour some of our beautiful covered bridges. Is, is yes. this the same weekend as the covered bridge festival? No, it no? is not. It's okay. in October. Okay. So we try Oh, to that's right. They're the first weekend for, in yeah, October. So this okay. kind of gets you ready for a okay. covered bridge festival. Yep. But Wine and Bridges, September 21st. Call the center if you're interested. We, we did a, a, a mailing to our, our regular. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, we think it's a nice event. We'll see. You yeah. Try something new. Yeah. You know, that's what we're trying yeah. to do. And it's so nice to go to the wineries and be on the trolley. You mm -hmm. don't have to worry about driving or you know right. having a designated driver. Uh, and then you'll be coming back to the center for dinner. So mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Who's cooking the some. pasta dinner? Uh, Phil Garsha, of okay. course, has volunteered, and he always donates too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just so great about donating yeah. for us. Yeah. And uh, yes. our ladies yeah. are all doing the desserts. So. Oh, good. Dessert. So that, yeah, dessert. Got to have dessert. Yeah. And uh, so it'll be a nice event. Very good. Very good. We, we're working on two different things for entertainment, but don't have confirmation yet. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's um, so that is Sunday, September twenty first. Correct. And they would call the Connie Human Resource Center for reservations. Yes, please. Five nine three five two seven three. And if you want more information, you know, and most people know how to get a hold of Renee Roach, it's, uh, but the front office is taking your reservations. Okay. And we do need those paid before you go on the trip, but uh, we like to know how many are coming so we can confirm with Jolly the Jolly. Yeah, sure. So it's sure. something new. And actually, it was Jill Warren, our intern, who put this together before she left. We, she okay. had, for her, to finish her degree program, she had to come up with one event that she created and organized. Ah. And this is her. That was her. This is her event. So Will she be here, there that day? I hope so. I'm going to keep <laughs> reminding She's actually helping us with the rib fest. Oh, she's, all right. She's going to help sell beer, beer and mums. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention, and I apologize about the rib fest, sorry, but uh, Gracie's Greenhouse uh, goes to a lot of crafters mm -hmm. and vendors. She wants to come to this rib mm -hmm. fest, so what we made a deal with her on is if she comes and sets up her moms, the seniors are going to sell, sell mom. the moms. Oh, okay. And um, 
then she can make a donation back to the to the seniors. So we think that'll be a nice yeah. addition. Yeah, yeah, very Because nice. it is a season for moms. It, it is a season for moms. And they're very reasonable. I think they're seven dollars. Ah, moms. Very are, good. That's something new this very year. Very good. Too. Yep. Anything you can buy in town that you don't have to leave. That's it's right. A win for me. It's me too. Uh, just don't have time to be tramping all over. So very good. Yeah, very so good. Very excited. Well, we're going to cross our fingers, and you know what? You won't melt. Rain or shine, Rain come or down. Shine. You know, you can eat ribs, buy ribs, come down and enjoy things, unless unless there's a reason, like you'll melt in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll have tents and places for you to Yeah, sit, so. yeah. I mean, what, you know, sitting home on a rainy day is boring. You, you know, if it happens to be a little damp, just come on down and enjoy good food and music and just have a, a good time. Yeah. You know? Sounds great. It Thanks. sounds good to me, Debbie. Debbie. I just love doing fundraising. Yes, so. we do. <laughs> Part you know, of our job. And, um, and, you know, now, changing gears just mm -hmm. a little bit. Ray Track. Mm -hmm. That's going to be starting up pretty soon. Yes, September 15th. Okay. Um, we're already taking applications for Right Track. We had record numbers last year. I think we had almost 90 children in the program. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are running it two days a week for each grade. So second and third come on Monday and Wednesday, and fourth and fifth come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh -huh. uh, previously, they only came once a week. Oh, okay. So this is a, this is a big uh, change for us. This will be the third year with teachers in the room. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm, I'm hoping Tammy can come on your show okay. sometime We'd soon love to, have her and talk to talk about to you it. about the results. Because yep. we actually okay. did assessments at uh -huh. the beginning beginning of the school year and mm -hmm. at the end to see if they're progressing and reading math, mm -hmm. social behavior, mm -hmm. uh, community, you know, uh, and things like that. So she has some really good reports to do, make good. and we'll be presenting them hopefully to the school board. Good. Soon. And the kids for Right Track, for those of you that don't know, they come right from school it's after like, school and they're there till 5 o'clock? Till 5 o'clock. We right. have teachers in the classroom with them providing reading and math in intervention mm -hmm. and homework help. Home with homework. And they have some social activities and physical mm -hmm. activities and a snack. Right. And for, yeah, well, that's good because yeah. they're hungry after school. Right. <laughs> um, and also, if you have a high school student that needs community service, we contact the Human Resource Center. It's a great place to uh, do that. We have a call. Good morning. You're on the air. Uh, good morning, Debbie and Penny. Good morning. Um, Debbie, I wanted to know, do you have, um, for that rib fest, is there a handicap parking? You used to have it up in that area, up in the, right up there where you, um, the rib fest, right up yeah, there? Yeah, that, that's a tough one. We try to put it right near the front, uh, on, is it, you're not Erie Street, what is it? Pearl. Pearl. Mm -hmm. Um, but... You have to go all the way around to where the ramp is. The, the, the ramp isn't right where the parking areas are. So we're going to try to mark some places um, near the end of that road for handicap parking. You'll see some signs that will pop okay. up. Okay. It's just a, it's a it's hard to park. When we were trying to bring in the trailers last night, there's only one place where you can. It's low enough and there's no curbing. So okay. that's something we got to work on is access there for handicap. All right. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. -bye. And, of course, you can park at the Kanye Art, Art Center. Center. Um, it's, we, we are all paved. You will have to go around to get into the park with this. But from the from our parking lot, the road is right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just make a right, and the road is right, right there, there to get into you the park. In so, um, you know, and we do have handicapped parking, but you're right there anyway. Right. So. so by that restroom area, you'll see some handicapped parking marked. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that way, if you come in, you can go up that yeah, grass that way. Park, but mm -hmm. it's, yeah. And that's important sometimes. It sometimes is. Sometimes you need to, you know, you want to you wanna come, but you need to have that ability to park closer or have that ability to get out of the car. Absolutely. A along Sandusky behind me, did mm -hmm. they put stone in there for parking along the edge there yet? Not yet. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. remind them. thought it was going to be done for you in time I did for too, you. but they may be doing it today. Okay. I don't know. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know that um, uh, at D-Day weekend there were some cars that parked there and it was so wet. I, I just fear they weren't even going to get out of there. And um, so there was a couple of wet spots still. Yeah, like too, so. yeah, yeah. Mr. Eagleston had promised me a year ago that stone would go in there so mm, that there would be I have extra to parking. Remind him about that. So I remind him, and <laughs> and I'm not. I, yeah, I know that our street department is so limited with the amount of people that they have. That's a 
a minor thing, but it's not when you're having a Any something bad. big down there, um, especially with the ground being as soft as it is yeah. right now. So that's good. I'll, I'll make sure he knows. Yeah. I've been talking that to Randy nice. pretty regularly lately. Yeah, to get things ready yeah. for it. So they've been really great to work with. Yeah, it has been. Everything's been going together very smoothly. Um, you know, from D-Day to all the other events that have been going on this summer. Um, honestly, folks, there's so much going on in this small town. For a town the size we have, there's so much going on. So when people say there's nothing to do in Conneaut, I'm sorry. You know, you're... You're just talking to the wrong person because I can never get everything in that I want to do with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. So um, I know we all have different interests, but there's usually something for everyone going on. You just have to get off the couch. Yeah. And there's a lot of things going on this weekend. So yep. keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you, Penny. Good luck. On Appreciate Monday, it. you get to sleep till noon. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's two grants due next week. I know, I know. We're we're right with you. Yeah. We're trying to hang shows and write grants. Yesterday, I'm hanging the photography exhibit, and Amanda's yelling out of the office. I need this okay, information. Okay, where about you? <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah. you know, it doesn't really slow down for us. We get a couple of days or a week of downtime, and it picks right back up again. So. All right, okay. good luck on the rib Thank fest. You, we hope to see you all down there this weekend having, oh, chili and ribs and pulled pork and uh, fried, fried corn. corn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. All right, Debbie, good luck. Thank you.